Some of the scholars mentioned that before a person goes to sleep, if a person wants to improve their relationship with Allah, their spiritual state, condition, before they go to sleep, they should make sure of four things. They should not go to sleep without having taken care of four things. Number one, that a person should make sure that a person should not go to sleep unless and until that person had, has made sure that they have resolved all outstanding conflicts that they might have with anyone. Settle your affairs. Settle your issues. Number two, لا ينبغي له أن ينام وقد بقي عليه فرض من فرائض الله تعالى. That a person should make sure that before they go to sleep, they have fulfilled all the obligations that are owed by them to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. If I haven't prayed my Isha, I can't go to sleep yet. I can't. Number three. لا ينبغي له أن ينام ما لم يتب من ذنوبه التي سلفت منه. A person should not go to sleep unless and until that person has taken a moment to sit down and intimately, privately, one on one with Allah, has repented to Allah, has turned back to Allah, and asked Allah for forgiveness for the sins this person might might have committed in the past. And number four. لا ينبغي له أن ينام حتى يكتب وصية صحيحة. A person before they go to sleep, they should make sure that at least on a basic level, they have made sure that all their, you know, all the major arrangements have been made, just in case if this person will not wake up the next morning. They've made whatever clarifications need to be made. What will be done after them with either their wealth or their family? And again, that doesn't seem, you know, for a lot of us, we think that's a very morbid idea. Plan my death before I go to sleep. But this is the seriousness that is required for having a relationship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala.